Hello everyone, this is Karan here. Back with a new video. You're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. Havoc OS for Redmi Note 8 has a new build, and as you can see, we have just installed it on our Redmi Note 8. Havoc OS version is 3.2, Android version is 10, and the build date is March 2. The latest update. How this update looks, what are the features, how is this performance, and everything else in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end, I'll try to show you everything. Now let's get straight to the video. Okay guys, first of all, let's take a look as always on the launcher. The home screen looks good, but I have just installed launcher launcher. The default launcher which you get in this custom room is pixel launcher. Okay, wait, let me show you. You got the pixel launcher by default in this custom room, which doesn't look bad, but launcher launcher is my favorite. You can also install launcher launcher to customize your device, which looks perfect. By swiping right, you will not see anything because we have just installed it from Play Store and we have not installed the alternate of that. And swiping down, swiping up, etc. The scrolling speed is nice, no lags at all but the performance is not that much great as you can expect from Havoc OS Room. You can see the quick setting tiles are there with header image working nice. Also, the, you can see the animations, the colors perfectly looking great. Doesn't look bad. You can also customize from here. These are the tiles which you can add or remove or also you can edit from here columns, landscape, rules, etc. Everything from here. Customization options are many which you can customize a good thing but some other things which I'm gonna show you is camera first of all This is this default camera which you get which is working perfectly without any bugs without any issues But Google camera Nope, Google camera is not working. I have just installed Google camera 7.0 7.2 7.3 none of them are working so no Google camera unfortunately you can use Google camera 5.1 if you want to use and that is available on my website just go and download from there that will work definitely but has some limitations so you have to compromise with that now let's take a look at Geekpen score and this is also disappointing Geekpen score single core score is only 302 and multi core score is 1160 which is not good which is way bad than you can expect from any other custom room you all uh, normally get 330 plus single core and multi core is 1300 plus but in this only 1160 and single core is 302 only that's not enough so the performance wise this room is bad I cannot use this as my daily driver at least I cannot you can use if you want to now let's take, let's take a look at some other features of this custom room. Network and internet and other things are almost same. In battery, you have a new thing like smart charging. You can check the uh, enable the smart charging level and this is good thing. You can stop your charging at some time which you mention here. The battery backup is good, not bad at all. I have just tried and battery backup is perfectly working. In display section all other things are same and when you go to styles and wallpapers you can add your own style as you can see I have created my own style which is perfectly working you can also use other styles like default crayon collage ash etc which are also looking good not bad at all just simply click on apply you will see it will be applied properly no bugs you can see the colors now changed and everything is fine and now also fonts are also changed sounds privacy location everything is there everything is same no extra things are there let's take a look at some features of this custom room which you only get in this custom room status bar there are not a lot of many customization options available but still have enough to satisfy your needs clock and date custom logo is available you can see i have on my status bar Brightness control is available, network traffic monitor is available, carrier label is available, battery icon style, these are the things you can customize in status bar, you can see the status bar icons are also changed as we have installed a new theme, new style applied. Quick settings, you can choose quick pull down if you want to, battery estimates, as you can see battery estimate is available on my quick settings header. 
you can also choose a header image if you want to use and also you can pick image from collection or storage so not a bad thing to customize your device with performance you have to compromise the performance is not that much great which you can expect from a custom room vibrate on touch brightness slider position all other things you can customize are normal which you already get in some other main custom rooms like have a, like uh, AICP and other custom room screen, full screen apps, use framework values, force, higher aspect ratio, etc. Ambient display is there, but it is not working. I have tried, it was not working at all. So, another bug is ambient display is not working. Even on while charging, it is not working at all. Double tap to uh, double tap to wake in this case, not working. Other things are also not working, so a lot of bugs in this section too. So that's not good. Buttons, they have said it is an official build, but I don't think so. It is an official build, but I didn't found it on their official website. Also, if you find, make sure you can comment below and you can also contact me on Telegram and you can give me the link. I will try to check out. Gestures, navigation bar, lock screen, notifications are almost same. Link for incoming call, a new feature, edge lighting option as always, which is perfectly working. Heads up is also working. System, force close notifications and kill app button, noisy notifications, all other things are same, which is perfectly working. Other things are almost same animations, miscellaneous, and these are the things which you get in this custom room. This is all from the review. Now let's take a look at the installation as always simply boot into custom recovery and the recovery which you need is TWRP you can choose any other recovery also if you want to use orange fox or pitch black whichever recovery you want I recommend you to use TWRP because it is official now for our device and official is official simply decrypt your data once if you are encrypted like me just wait it to properly decrypted data once as you can see data is successfully decrypted just wait for it to now just to do wipe advanced wipe dalvik catch system vendor data swipe to wipe okay after that simply go to install here what you have to do is go to your device storage where you have installed where you have had that file click on havoc os swipe to confirm flash it will start flashing google apps are not installed so simply go to install again at that time after installing the room just go to rooms and files and here select the room files uh, g apps file sorry swipe to confirm flash from here it will start flashing google apps and after that simply reboot system and if it is booting back to recovery and as you already know about that simply go to wipe format data y e s and done this is how you can install Havoc OS on your device and if you want to try out this build you can try out but that is not recommended for daily use by the terms of performance actually. So this is your choice. This is how you can install Havoc OS. This is all from today's video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. See you in the next video soon.